Welcome back to the three months of modal logic, a sequel to the 100 days of logic here at Carnades.org. Today we're going to be looking at some or another justification operation as part of our series on epistemic logic and justification logic. Note, this is not some in the mathematical sense, but rather some in the justification modal logic sense. Let's take a look. So, imagine that you have one piece of justification. It is noon, we represent that with N, which is sufficient to justify some proposition. The sun is in the sky, S. The sum operation allows you to add on another piece of justification. For example, it is hot, which would not justify the original proposition on its own, but since the original justification is sufficient, the sum of these two justifications is going to be sufficient as well. Note, the new justification could be anything. Birds have wings, and so on and so forth, since the original justification is sufficient to justify the proposition on its own. The point here of the sum operation is that one of the justifications included in the sum is sufficient to justify the proposition. Not either one of them, but one of them is sufficient. To represent sum, as we do in mathematics, we're going to be using a plus sign. This means that one of the pieces of justification is sufficient to justify the proposition. It's important to understand when I say one of the pieces of justification is sufficient to support the proposition, I'm not saying that either one of the pieces is sufficient. I'm saying that one is sufficient. At least one is sufficient. It could be the case that either of them are sufficient, or the conjunction, the application of them is sufficient. But at least one of them on its own is sufficient. If application is similar to conjunction, sum is somewhat similar to disjunction. Looking at the previous example, we see that it being noon justifies the claim that the sun is in the sky. Therefore, it being hot and it being noon will justify the claim that the sun is in the sky. Note here that we can't from this conclude that it being hot justifies the sun being in the sky. Because anyone that's lived in a very humid climate will understand that it can often be hot when the sun is nowhere to be found. More formally, we can represent this as S justifies P implies that S and T justify P, or S and T, the sum of S and T justify P. And T justifies P implies, once again, that the sum of S and T justify P. If S is a justification for P, then the sum of S and T is a justification for P. Hopefully that's clear. Both in sum and application, we're using and to kind of conjoin these, because or doesn't really make sense here, but they're very different operations that are taking place. Up next, we're going to be looking at J0, Skeptical Justification Logic. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.